Let's graph negative uh, 2x plus 4y is less than or equal to negative 8. So here, again, as we have in the past examples, we start by writing it as an equation. So it's a little bit easier to graph. We just temporarily drop the inequality and just say, okay, now let's just have things be equal to each other. And here, again, similar options as the previous examples come up. You can either pick points, plug some values of x and solve for y, or you can solve this and turn it in, uh, solve this for y and turn it into slope intercept form and then use the y intercept and slope to graph it. But given the form that it's in, and I'm looking at the numbers two, four, and eight, uh, both two and four go into eight. So the easiest way to actually graph this would be to find x and y intercepts, the points where the line crosses the x axis and the y axis. And again, you, you have ultimate freedom on how you graph the line that's been discussed. On, in, on numerous occasions in past sections. I'm just sort of tying it all together and saying you have multiple options. For this problem, the easiest or the most efficient way is probably to find x and y intercepts. That being said, the other two options will work just fine, maybe not as quickly. So as a reminder, to find the x-intercept, we set the y-coordinate equal to 0. So if we do that, we would get negative 2x plus 4 times 0 equals negative 8 negative 2x, 4 times 0 is just 0, so that's gone. In fact, that's why we did it, equals negative 8. And then finally, dividing both sides by negative 2 will give us 4. So one point that this line passes through is 4, 0, 4, the one that we just solved, and 0 is what we plugged in in order to get to 4. So that's my x-intercept. That's where the line crosses the x-axis. In order to find the y-intercept, oops. Hopefully you remember, we set the x-coordinate equal to 0. So negative 2 times 0 plus 4 times y equals negative 8. Negative 2 times 0 is gone. It's just 0, so we get 4y equals negative 8. Dividing both sides by 4 gives us negative 2. So my y-intercept is 0. That's what we plugged in for x, comma, negative 2. So now that we have two points, we can draw a line by connecting the two of them. So let's graph this roughly. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and then four comma zero would be right there. Zero comma negative two, negative one, negative two, negative three, so zero comma negative two would be right there. Now the question becomes, what kind of line should I make? Should I make a dashed line or a dotted line, or should it be a solid line? For that, we go back to the original inequality. Because it has a little equal sign in it, we have to draw a solid line. If it were just less than, then it would be a, da or a dashed or a dotted line. But because it's less than or equal to, we have to connect these two dots with a solid line. Let's see if I can do this any better this time around. Eh, close enough. So now the xy plane is split into two halves, up and to the left, or down and to the right. And the question becomes which side contains all the solutions? Should we shade up and to the left, or should we shade down and to the right? And again, the easiest way to do this is to just pick a test point. You just have to pick one. You don't have to do it two times, one on each side. You just have to pick one test point. When you plug it into the original inequality, if it tells you the truth, shade that side. If it tells you a lie, shade the opposite side. Remember that you have to pick a point that is not on the line. And it's easiest to always pick the origin if that point is available, because it's the easiest number to do uh, calculations with. So if I plug in 0, 0 in my original inequality, let me write it down again. Negative 2 times 0 plus 4 times 0 is less than or equal to negative 8. Well, negative 2 times 0 is 0, so that's gone. 4 times 0 is 0. That's gone. 0 plus 0 is just 0. And we get 0 is less than or equal to negative 8. Is that a true statement or a false statement? If it were true, we should shade on the side of our test point, 0, 0. If it is false, we should shade on the opposite side, the side which does not contain the point. So 0 is less than or equal to negative 8 is a false statement. I would much rather have $0 than owe someone $8.
So instead of shading on this side that has the zero in it or zero zero in it, we shade the opposite side. So everything here is going to be a solution down and to the right. Let's look at this in Desmos. So here I have two, negative 2x plus 4y is less than or equal to negative 8. So when I turn this line on, you'll notice the y-intercept of negative, uh, 0, negative 2 and the x-intercept of 4, 0. So those are the exact two points we had right here as the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So our calculations are correct. And we also have a solid line because it's less than or equal to. And then again, we shaded down and to the right because the origin told us a lie. We do not want to shade on the side that's telling us a lie. We want to shade on the opposite side that's telling us the truth. We'll see you in the next video.